Talk isn't always cheap. When central bankers open their mouths, investors listen and dissect every word. That can make for a helpful tool in times of stability, but in times of volatile markets and financial stress, policymakers' chatter brings more risk than reward. The global banking system is particularly vulnerable right now. The collapses of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank last month prompted fears of additional bank failures. That makes communication much harder for central bankers. Any misstep or confusing comment could spook investors and incite further wobbles. Policymakers' comments have rattled investors before. Market volatility shot higher in June 2013 when former Fed Chair Ben Bernanke said the central bank would eventually rein in its emergency purchases of government bonds. A similar episode happened in the UK when former Bank of England Governor Mark Carney shocked investors in 2014 by hinting officials would raise rates sooner than markets expected. Central banks have already acknowledged that, in some cases, silence is golden. Fed Chair Jerome Powell paused his typical policy signals in June, saying officials will tweak policy based on the latest economic data instead of trying to make forecasts. The European Central Bank followed suit in July by switching to a meeting-by-meeting -meeting approach. When central bankers hit the right notes, they can encourage strong growth or help fight inflation. Yet with investors already on a razor's edge, talking less can give officials more leeway for guiding the world economy forward.